Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another day with kindergarten with Mrs. R. Today we are going to work with the blend DR. And DR says dir as in drum. So we're going to learn today about different words that make the DR sound. So you're going to go ahead and need to get your packet. It's kind of a peach color, maybe a little bit of orange color. Um, and go ahead and grab this one with the drum set on it. And we'll go ahead and get started. So while you're grabbing that, I am going to share my screen with you and we'll get started. Okay. So today, like I said, we are working with the blend DR and DR says dr as in drum. So we're going to open to our first page. And our first work we're going to do together is we're going to be sorting with DR and we have lots of practice with sorting. And this type of assignment, don't we? We've practiced something similar before. So what we're doing is we're going to read what these pictures say, what the words are, and decide where do they go? Do they have the DR sound or do they not have the DR sound? If they do, we put them in this box with the thumbs up. If they do not, then we put them in the box with the thumbs down, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look here. So this is, let's look at the first picture. Make this a little bit bigger so you can see them. So in this first picture, we have a jacket, okay? jack-o'-lantern, drawer, dragon, drum. This boy is having a dream. It's like about candy, but, and button, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna first cut out our pictures. So we're gonna do that with our scissors. So if you don't have your scissors, grab those quick. And then we're gonna cut straight across like this. Now remember, any time during the video, you can always pause if I get ahead of you and then you can catch up and then push play again to rejoin. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut all these out. Just going to cut each one out on the dotted lines. So, okay. So now if you haven't got your pieces cut out yet, then I um, suggest that you push pause. And then after you get them all cut out, you can come push play and join them again. Okay. So I'm just going to spread these out here in front of me so I can see them. All right, so let's take a look here. So we've got some different pictures. We're gonna need our glue stick now, and we're gonna need to decide where we go. All right, so here's the first one, jacket. Oops, jacket. Does jacket have the drrr sound in the word? So oh, let's go put it on the side of the pictures that do not have the dirt sound. And you can tell because it has the thumbs down. Mm -hmm. Here's the next one, dragon. Dragon. Does dragon have the dirt sound at the beginning? Dragon, yes, it does. Here's the next one, drawer. Drawer. Does drawer have the dr, the drawer sound in it? Drawer. Or yes. This is jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. Does jack o' lantern have the dur sound in it? Jack o' lantern. No, I don't have the dur sound. So we go over on the side with the thumbs down. Here's flower pot. Flower pot. Does flower pot have the dur sound in it? No, no, I do not hear that. So they're going this side. Ooh, that's the thumbs down side. Next one, dream. Dream. Does dream have the dur sound in it? Dr yes, I hear dream. dream. So you put it on the side with the thumbs up. That's the next one. Button, button. Does button have that drawer sound in it? 
No, it does not. So we put it on this side. Okay, last one. Drum. Drum. Does drum have that dir sound in it? Drum. Yes, I definitely hear drum and drum. So we put it on this side. Just like that. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've decided here. We have decided that dragon, drawer, dream, and drum all have that drawer sound at the beginning. We have also decided that jacket, button, jack-o-lantern, flower pot do not have the drawer sound. Mm -hmm. So if you're still finishing this up, make sure you push pause until you get all your pieces glued in, okay? So go ahead and press pause now if you're not ready, and then push play again when you're ready to catch up with pieces up. All right, we are going to go ahead and we're going to flip to the third page that looks like this. It says, let's build words, and it has some DR words that we're going to trace and build. Okay, so first things first, we need to do some tracing. So let's go ahead and trace these new words. So each of these words in the DPAM is going to start first with DR. So let's do our tracing first. So I trace draw off, drop. There's the next one. Remember, they all have draw at the beginning. Dr ag drag. We've seen this word on another page. Dr um drum. Dr dr it drip. Okay. So if you're still underlining and you're still tracing, then go ahead and press pause now. And then when you're done tracing. Then you can push play again and I'll join this as well. All right, so let's go ahead and carefully cut out the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to cut out all of these letters and lines. So you'll notice that some of the boxes have two letters in the DR, which of course is the blend. And they put those in one box because they want you to say them with your one sign. Okay. So you grab my scraps here. I can my sign. I can recycle this later. And we go ahead and finish cutting these out. So, oops. So now if you have not cut out all your letters, you're still working on it. I recommend that you press pause now and then when you get them all cut out, you can come join me. All right, so I'm gonna put all the DR um, ones up here at the top and I know there's going to be four of them. So those can all go at the top. And then I'm gonna do all my other single letters so just a little bit so you can see the whole screen all right so so the first thing we're going to notice is that every single one of these words starts with dr so you know what we can do boys and girls is we can go ahead and put the DR sound at the beginning of each word because we know if they're in the DR word family, they're all going to start with DR. And that saves us a step, doesn't it? Put this all just like that. Oops. Look at that. That makes it so much easier. And that's kind of a time-saving little trick that I use because if I know they all start with DR, then I can go ahead and put those all in the first spot. Easy, huh? 
Then I just need to look at the next letter after the DR. So I need to put O. Just need to put O to draw A, and then of course a B. So we're just building these exact words with the same letters over here on the side. Okay. So dr a drop, like I drop or like a raindrop, or if we use the word in a different way, I dropped uh, my plate, but this is like raindrop, okay? The next one, dr ag, drag, so we already have the dr, <clears throat> so we need the a and the g to build the word drag. So here is an a, and here is the g, okay? So dr, a, g, drag. And drag means to pull something behind you that usually would be something pretty heavy. You pull it, you can't quite carry it, so you drag it. Okay. So this next one is dr, um, drum. So we already have the dr, so we need to look for the u and the m. And put those in. Okay. So u and u. Dr, uh, mm, drum. And of course, our last one, we know that this says dr, it, drip. So we're going to put an all here. So I, dr, it, drip. Okay, so we have our four words, dr, op, dr, ag, drag, dr, um, drum, dr, it, drip. Okay, all right, so great job everybody today on working on building words and deciding and listening with your ears what words that did and did not have the dr sound in them today. So just a lot of practice with the DR word family. And so when you start reading uh, words and things in books, you might start noticing that you see words with DR in them. And then you'll know that DR says dr, and it'll make your reading a little bit easier for you. So thank you for joining me today. I hope every one of you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you very soon, everybody.